Hey there guys, what's up? Gaming number 12 KZ here, back with another video today, and guys, welcome back to FIFA 19, The Journey. And today we're going to be playing as Danny Williams. And guys, if you have no idea what's going on so far, go check out the last episodes. Um, Awkward, wouldn't it? Getting knocked out to your old team. Your dreams of Champions League glory shattered. I don't know how I could have lived with myself. I really don't. International light on on his book. <laughs> How do you think he's doing? Tell him I said hi. Um, if I'm feeling like it. All right, All right bye bye. bye, bye. Then. Fine then. Ah, ah Michael. Michael. Better late than never. Oh, sorry about that. Traffic was dreadful. Where did we land? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was, it was exciting draw. I'll get the door then, shall I? Uh, you know, I always uh, thought Hunter was full of it. It reminds me of that kid we were at school with. Fancy himself as a footballer, what was he called? What? Muggers? <laughs> Leave it out. All the same as want to be. Remember Muggers used to do like 20 step overs and then fall over his bootlaces? <laughs> uh, I heard he ended up in non-league, never getting a game. Look, Danny, I, I just had this meeting with this estate agent friend of mine. Right. Found you the perfect house. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, built in sauna and a 10% discount. Are you serious? Uh, couldn't you have just sent us a link? But you can't live in this place forever, Danny, can you? It's, uh, I mean, it's not exactly Premier League standard, is it? It's more like, I don't know, Sunday League, I'd say. A house like that, that'll inspire you, yeah? Send the right message out to the sponsors and the like, yeah? yeah. You're, you're on the up. So you're going places, yeah? So think about it. I'll call you later, Danny, right? Yeah, 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 yeah we'll see. Cheers, Cheers Michael. Michael. What do you think, mate? I mean, I mean it's, it's a bit, a bit pricey, pricey, but you know, what with those investments you've been making and everything. Three everything. bathrooms! I mean, I need three bathrooms. Up. I wouldn't be surprised if Taylor's getting a sweetener off this. What? No. Michael wouldn't do that. He's all right. Shift the answer to me. Anyway, you've got bigger fish to fry. Like how you're going to handle Terry in the Champions League. You used to have you on toast when we were kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. We're not kids anymore, are we? <laughs> That's the spirit part. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Let's work on some ball control today, yeah? Quick feet, tight touches. Dribble through as many gates as possible in the given time, okay? Dang. You suck. I suck at direction. Screw it, yeah. Gym work wouldn't go amiss, yeah? Let's play as a team. God, this guy's a substitute, is that how bad he is? Dang. Okay. 
so Danny Williams is going to come on. Just getting some final words from his manager, Alan. Chance for him to make a mark. I'm sure the instructions are go out there and get us a goal, son. Danny Williams. Get one assist, okay. Okay, bro. And uh, Herrera. Don't want to be caught betwixt and between here, Manchester United, just inviting pressure as they defend this lead. Well, history tells you that they don't normally sit back, but this is a slightly different United side. Come on, bro. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress. Giving it straight away. Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. And uh, Herrera. Here's Danny Wick. The shot's off. Dang. You suck. Ezekiel Shalotto. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Saw that coming and intercepted. And it will be fair throw. Nemanja Matic. That's a turnover. Of we, we suck it through. Comes in with a tackle. Counting down in the last ten minutes here. Nine to go. He's one possession. What the heck, man? to the attack now neatly intercepted they've shown him the inside and he's taken that opportunity and he's got the ball away from him with the tackle and that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that Here's a chance to go down the outside. Dang. He sucked. Oh, that's good defending. Element. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Free kick awarded here. Is it going to be an in swinger or an out swinger? He can deliver these with both feet. Delivers it in. And shoots. Could pull one back here. Trying to steal the ball from him. Goalkeeper goes down and comes away with the ball. Well played. Yeah, it was brave goalkeeping. He didn't shirk the challenge, did he? Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Gives it away. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept her. There's good progress with this attack. Looking to clip it into the middle, but the defender getting in the way. And it's kicked upfield by the keeper. And uh, Herrera. Free kick for Manchester United. Well, there are other options from the bench. Valencia. Closing him down. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. And uh, Herrera got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. 
What the hell was that? Wasn't really a very thoughtful one. First touch was poor. God. I'm feeling super salty right now. Boy. I hate this. These guys are douchebags. That's an easy cut out for the opposition saw the pass coming. Got to keep the ball here under some pressure. The ball position has indicated face another two minutes two added on by the referee. On the move, he's through. A really incisive breakaway. Held his position, stayed on side, in at the keeper, but he's denied him. Oh, he's such a good keeper in these situations. You know, he's very cool and he got his angles absolutely correct there. They've set it up well for the cross. Could be for Manchester United. Wonderful interception. I hate this. Well, that's the final whistle, and it's a win here for Manchester United. Okay, we were lucky. God. Ah, oh, shit. I think we'll sharpen up our dribbling today, if that's all right with you lot. I want to see control with pace and purpose. Let's retry that one, bro. Um, Okay, this sucks. He freaking suck.
this. <sighs> Phew. All I'm saying, Lily, is you keep putting the crosses in and I will keep adding them in, you know? Good to finally see you using your head for something useful. You know, I try, I really do. And what would you say has earned you your transfer to French Giants PFG? Well, Stratton is all over Europe for scaring me. Because I don't give them room to breathe, do you know what I mean? It's all about winning your one-on-ones. And uh, making sure the man you're up against, the man is unbeatable. And how are you feeling about going up against your brother, Danny Williams, from Sweden Stakers? Uh, must be a big thing for you. Uh, well, it might be for him. Can't uh, care really. <laughs> Once you win one of these, nothing really cares, is it? Excellent point. Although, if memory serves, you didn't actually play in the final, did you? Well, it was your first season in Italy, I was getting bedded in. <laughs> but I played a part in getting us there, don't you worry about that. It's a squad game, mate, you understand? Hang on. I don't sweat my brother. No one's really going to get the better of me. And if you're watching, Danny, I love you, mate. So I was wondering if I could uh, put some extra practice in, you know, work on what the gaffer wanted. Oh, good on you. Well, the pitch is always available. I'm not asking places. about the pitch. I'm uh, <coughs> wondering if uh, uh, you'd help train me. What was that, Williams? I didn't, uh, didn't quite hear you. I was wondering if you would help train me. Just say when, son. Cool. Nice one. I'll text you the directions. Directions? Just missed. Paris, dang. Do the love. Christmas at the Williams. Must be fun. <laughs> Yeah, this video is going to be in between 40 and 45 minutes long. Okay. A big night at a great venue, the Pas des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And in the group stage of the Champions League, PSG play host to their chief rivals in this particular section. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Manchester United. Thank you, Derek. Well, it wasn't an ideal start to United's Champions League campaign. Three points would have been the order of the day in the first game, but they didn't get that, just a solitary point. Can they get three points and back on track tonight?
years ago, we didn't really think of Paris Saint-Germain as potential Champions League winners. Suffice it to say, Lee, okay, bro. his days are gone. Well, absolutely, and it's about time, really, that France, and especially Paris, had a powerhouse in European football. And they've now got that. They're building on what they've done in the past. But certainly, they're emerging as a real talent. And the PSG team looks like this. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay Big high bro. and wide. Very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. An element of caution about this selection. Yeah, 4-5-1, Derek. The five players behind the lone striker will need to support him. Looks a very strong midfield offensively and also defensively. The back four will be protected throughout the game. Can they hit on the break? Difficult shot to take on. Routine save for the keeper. Yeah, it's the distance. Look how far out he is. Easy, easy save in the end. Gravatti now. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Look as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? A 1v1 situation, and the goalkeeper does his job. Really good experience there. Picked his time. What the heck, bro? Really why, you, why, you, why you do that? Kid. Well, that's a completely wasted throw in. And a strong tackle. Nemanja Matic has it. Well, it might well be scope for them to counter attack here. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. And the ball with Williams. Yes. Playing with purpose and control. Terrific block there. Profit awarded to Manchester United. Joaquin Gallo. Let's come off the keeper. You freaking suck. So much of the storyline coming in had to do with the battle of the brothers, Danny and Terry Williams, the target man versus the powerful centre back. It should make for an interesting contest, Lee. Well, yeah, there's lots of quotes attributed to Terry over the last few weeks. I'm not too sure I take too much of that on board, but it's a battle of the minds. It really is. When you're playing against someone you know, an ex teammate, etc., it's bad enough, but when you're playing against a sibling, it can be really, really vital that you stay focused on your own game and don't let the mind games play a part. Cavani. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Danny Alves. The heck, bro. Now Kurzawa. Read it superbly to take back possession. Danny Williams. And now Danny Williams. Damn. Corner given to United. And he's fired over the corner. And now having a go. And a wild, wild attempt from long range. Not one for his highlight reel. Well, it's a poor choice. He's got other options on. Why is he shooting from that distance? You know, you know, you know the mistake we're doing? 
We're getting, we're shooting like too early. Oh, challenge. Thanks, bro. Running with the ball confidently. What the heck, man? Give me the freaking ball. I hate this goalie. He sucks. Braxler now. Diara. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Kurzawa. Neymar. Neymar just possessed. Given away by Manchester United. Crossing opportunity. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. And a goal kick will be next. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Philippe Bernard. This is Thiago Silva. Mbappe with it. Dani Alves with it. And the ball with Williams. Good tackle. Break this dude. Freaking hate these retards. Bro, we're gonna go half time zero to zero. I don't even know that. that two additional minutes are in order. Lost possession. Why the frick is this even happening? Viara. Mbappe. And with the goalkeeper. Half time. And so the half time whistle is gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. <sighs> okay, bro. Okay, now we got this. Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Herrera. Shaw. Throw in is given. The manager's pissed. Mbappe with it. I get it. Now, Rabio. Here's Mbappe. Given away by Pogba. And the free kick awarded to Manchester United. to break the spirit of the attacker given away by Manchester United and the PSG corner so the corner played into the box just unable to take advantage of that developing situation Under Herrera. Paul Pogba. Well, he's not shy about extolling his own virtues, and you have to say Terry Williams has been a dominant force at the back in this game, Lee. Well, he has, but Danny's played right into the hands of Terry, he really has. 
He's let him get hold of him. He's let him muscle him off his game. He's got to stay away from him. Keep the space. Spin him into the holes. Make him do what he doesn't want to do, and that's run into the channels. And the keeper making sure that there were no straps to feed on for the attackers. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And what the freak? And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Radio. And it's a really good looking Paris Saint Germain attack. What will they do next? Shot. Shot. Can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think you can. Look at this kid. <laughs> the heck, man. Under Herrera. Marcial. Pogba. Manchester United, United getting, getting players, players forward and moving the ball around. They've given it away. Not problematic. Freak the you. I'm feeling very salty right now. As you can see. <sighs> okay. He was right on top of the situation to get the ball back to his team. Green space galore for PSG. And Neymar. Wonderful block. Drop kick. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Dude, I freaking hate these guys. PSG on the move with purpose. What can they do from this particular position? They don't normally need a second invitation to Freak get you. on the counter. Well, that Dumb. break looks so promising, but nothing coming from it. Neymar. Kozawa. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Substitution time it is. Dang it. Playing in the Champions League against your brother. Tell me about finishing all square. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was good playing on the same pitch again as Terry. I mean, we used to play as kids, didn't we? But he's a few years older than me, so he usually won. But, uh... Bit more of a level playing field now, isn't it? I mean, still would have preferred the three points. Well, I'm sure he'd say the same. Yeah, of course he would. We're both footballers, aren't we? Well, good point. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Do we freaking suck? I'll see you guys next time. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, even though we made no goals whatsoever. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye.